In this tip, I want to show you how you can use your iPad remotely to control a presentation that you're giving on your Mac. This way, you might be showing a keynote or a PowerPoint on your Mac and projecting it on the front screen in your room, and you can actually go through and use your iPad to control it. Now, in order to do this, the first thing you want to do is open your presentation in Keynote. Now, don't worry if it's a PowerPoint. All you have to do is right-click or secondary-click on your Mac and choose to open that PowerPoint up in Keynote, and it should open just fine. Now, once you're in Keynote, what you need to do is go up to uh, the top left-hand corner where it says Keynote and click on that and select Preferences. And from there, you'll see there's four tabs. Now, I already have mine checked. Um, so if you go in and click on Remotes, you want to go see where it says Enable, and then you click Enable. Now, as you can see by the directions here, it says make sure devices have Wi-Fi turned on, then go to Keynote for iOS and tap on the remote icon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to my iPad. All right, so here I am in Keynote on my iPad. In the top left-hand corner, you'll see the little icon for the remote. So I need to tap that to get this set up. And it'll say on here, it says you can use your iPad as a remote control to present slideshows on a Mac, iPad, or iPhone. So I'm going to tap Continue. It's going to say go to Keynote on a Mac or iOS device, connect it to the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, then select Test iPad. That's the actual name of my iPad here, so that will have your device's name. So right now it is searching to see if it can find it. All right, so I'm going to pull over. This here is from my Mac. This here is that remote window. You'll see here now that it sees the test iPad. So I'm going to click on link. And it's going to verify this number here. So it shows up on my iPad. And again, this here is overlaying from my Mac. So I'm going to hit confirm. And right now, that will make that connection for you. So at this point on my iPad, I could just tap play. So now I'm actually controlling my presentation. So that you're seeing the presentation on the iPad and I could just tap to advance slides. Now there's a few things that you can do up in the top right hand corner. You'll see there's a little pencil tool with a circle. So if I tap on that, I can now go in and I can write directly on my screen. So I can add different colors and I can write and this will overlay and this is actually showing up now on the presentation itself. Tap done when you're finished with that. I can also go in and if I tap on the next icon over I can change the layout that I'm using. So like right now this is showing the current slide but I could have it instead preview what the next slide will look like. Um, you could also have both slides side by side. So this is always good because it helps you lead into your next slide. Uh, one of my favorites, if you use notes, is tap on the current and notes, and this will show any notes that you've typed into the presentation. So when you're finished, all you have to do is tap the X in the top right hand corner, and that will end your remote connection. So that shows you how you can do that initial setup um, at any point when you want to launch it again. Now that your devices are synced together, all you have to do is click on that big green button from the iPad to play and you can now remotely control your presentation. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.